Hi guys, my name is Vikram Tucker. In this video, I am going to cover what is data warehousing and what is data warehouse. This is one of the first videos that I am going to create for the data warehousing series. So let's get started. So data warehouse is actually a database which is specially designed and developed and populated with the aim of queries and analysis in mind rather than the day-to-day -day transaction processing and operational processing. It contains historical and the cumulative data which is derived from the transactional data from single or multiple sources. And Data Warehouse is basically a single version of truth for an organization wherein they get the data from multiple sources which helps them uh, to achieve an objective of decision making and finding how their business has been doing. And data warehousing is a process of populating the data warehouse and modeling the data warehouse. There's another def definition by Bill Inman that a data warehouse is a subject oriented, integrated, time variant and a non-volatile structure of a data so let's discuss each and every feature of a data warehouse in detail. So first get into subject oriented. When you say subject oriented, it focuses on a subject rather than an ongoing operation. For example, a bank data is there and somebody withdraws a money from a bank or deposit a money from a bank. It doesn't cater to those transactions. It's basically the cumulative view of that business as to how the business is doing. So basically it is subject oriented and focuses on a subject. For example, a subject can be a specific business area in an organization. It can be sales, it can be marketing or it can be any business unit specific to that organization. So when we focus on a subject, it helps us to model the data for that subject only and which in turn helps us to do the analysis on that particular subject which helps in decision making. So the next feature is integrated. As I earlier said, the data from multiple sources, for example the web APIs, the raw data, the Excel data, the cloud data, the Hadoop data or the data from a database because an organization collects data from various sources and finally in a data warehouse it integrates into a single form or a consistent format. We need to transform the data from multiple sources and store it in a consistent format. All the naming convention, all the formats of a table and the encoding of the data must be consistent in order to create the data warehouse. The next feature of a data warehouse is non-volatile. Non-volatile means the data once loaded into a data warehouse is not going to change. If there is any change, it must be recorded as a new record. Data which is there or loaded into a warehouse should not change and the previous data, the historical data which has changed should also be there and a new data for that particular dimension should also be recorded in a data warehouse. Data from the operational stores uh, is fetched periodically in a batch and uh, periodically updated into a data warehouse. What it does is it enables us to analyze the historical data because we store every iteration of the data which helps us to understand what has happened and when has happened which gives the business the flexibility to understand how the business has been doing and how it will do in the future. The next is the time variant. So as we discussed earlier, we kept a historical data in a data warehouse. It helps an organization to focus on how the data has changed over the time and helps the business and an organization to study the trends and the changes. As we have the historical data in our data warehouse which uh, provides information from a historical point of view on how our business has been doing. 
So this completes the feature of data warehouse and process of loading a data into a data warehouse is called data warehousing. I hope you guys have liked this video. If so, please don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you.